All right, so I know I left off last episode in a really weird fashion. I just kind of ended it and put like a to be continued kind of deal at the end of it. Um, what happened was I stripped out or I cross-threaded one of the bolts for the seats or was already cross-threaded or I did it, I don't know. Anyways, it's cross-threaded. I had to get my tap set from Ken's house. This whole interior bullshit is just frustrating and I hate doing it. So I've been, I've been back in the garage and back and forth all the time and I just film every now and then. Um, I'm gonna tap that hole in the in the floor and I'm gonna put the seat in. All this is in final assembly. I'm gonna have to take the trunk stuff back out and behind the dash and stuff again when I do wiring and ECU stuff and fuel pumps. But I just want it back together so I have a good base platform to start with. Let's go. I spent 20 minutes trying to find the right tap because it wasn't in the kit. Then I found it and then I didn't turn the camera on when I tapped it. So uh, take that. This is so scary to put in because it can it can damage everything. Uh, don't hit anything. Ugh. Stop hitting things. Now that the seat is bolted in, we have this nifty seat cover that goes over top of the seat. It has a little tiny bit of padding in it, but not really much. Then there's all kinds of snap buttons. Yes! I didn't bolt in the back part here, but you can see that um, this is where that adjustable thing is, the seat bracket. I gotta put a bolt in there. But. Oh wow. It's like the perfect positioning for me. I, I like having my legs a bit bowed out this way a little bit and they're like perfectly out full throttle oh this is gonna be good it's gonna be a good day but I might come out tomorrow and do the rest the next thing that goes in is the dash and I'm gonna have to notch it around um, these bars right here so what I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna have to get a piece of paper because the dash fits right underneath this uh, pillar right here fits underneath so I'll have to get a piece of paper and I'll have to make a template of the dash around the bar and then I'll have to transfer that over to the dash and that's where I'll have to make my notch cuts. We're back with another episode of me hitting my life because um, I'm still working on interior bits but I'm gonna put my chute back on. Unfortunately, when we drilled the hole for the, the chute mount inside the car, um, Roy, we missed a little bit. So we, we kind of uh, didn't have the pipe in far enough. So I'm actually gonna have to drill it on the outside now. Um, I'll show you what I mean here. This actually fits on the, it was drilled on the inside, but now there's no room on the inside. So we're gonna have to drill it through this pipe right here on the outside. Um, this fits in here way too snugly, but this is where I'm gonna have to drill the new hole in this part of the metal. So. That's our next step. I'm gonna open the door. It's actually kind of nice out, and um, there might be a little bit of background noise because there's always construction in my area. This thing's actually a pain in my ass to put in. Uh, I clear coated it too, so it probably doesn't help. I'm gonna have to get rid of all this chewy bits in here. Oh my God, let's go so much further in. See what I mean? All the clear on it, that's gonna come off. So we have to go like two inches past that. Uh oh. I got rid of some of the clear. I also cut off a bit of the, the, the pole so it'll go in easier. Cause it doesn't need to be so long anymore. Maybe a bit further out. <laughs> right there. Right about there. That's where I'm gonna have to drill it. Now I don't have the best drill bits. They're like the Mastercraft ones, but I do have like 7,000 of them. This may take a while. 
I'm gonna step it up, I'm gonna go small and then bigger, bigger, bigger and see how easy it is. One hole down. In hindsight, I probably should have drilled this hole before cleared it because I'm not gonna have to re-clear this hole. One down, 17 more sizes to go. Yes, yes. I broke off my final drill bit inside. No, now I gotta go buy a new one. Okay, I guess while I, um, while I don't go buy a drill bit yet, I can uh, reattach my shoe plate. So it just bolts through into existing holes. There should be a top side to this, right here. What a mess. This is the part I need. It's so dirty. Oh boy, I gotta untangle this. I'm not sure what you said. What? Yeah, let's see if I can do this solo. This gets folded one more time over. I'm just going off what I learned on YouTube. And then we just start coiling up the rope back and forth on this. And then fold it over in an S. Another S. And just keep S folding it until it's a square. Actually, that can go on after. Get this part packed in first. So this is your pilot chute. It goes, this springs out, catches the wind, and pulls the regular chute out. And then in the top of this pilot chute, there's a string. I'm gonna wrap my string around it. This is so difficult. Uh, typical me fashion, I let the camera die, but I did get it on. Um, I did it backwards, it's it's bottom first, then top, then left, then right to pack it. Um, it definitely isn't the best packing job because it's just me and I don't know how to do it very good. But damn. Also, I did put the bottom rear seats in and then it comes up to the carpet, which is actually gonna work out quite perfect. I think I'll keep those in. I'll show you from the other side, it's gonna be better. They do squish up against the cage a little bit. Right there. Other than that, a little clean. Cop it. Okay, so I've been avoiding this part for a long time because I'm really not good at it, but I do have to notch the dash and put it back in. And this is something that I really don't want to mess up. I'm gonna do my best to make some templates and um, I realize now that the these pillars had to go in after the dash because there's like a little slot in the bottom of them that has to fit in the dash, but they won't come out anymore, so I'm gonna have to cut the little tab that's on it. Um, yeah, so that's what I'm gonna try and do. I'm gonna try and cut up some paper, I think, um, get a template, um, match it to the dash, drill some holes. It's kind of sketchy because that's a good dash. What do you do? Okay, I've been working at this for a while now, and it's just a pain in my ass. I keep touching the screen. And, um, yeah, I notched some stuff out and I uh, test fitted and I realized that I couldn't get the dash in without actually physically breaking it and making a room for the cage. So this is what I have for now. Let's see if I can get in there. We'll come from the outside. The window a little bit. So this is where it had to be notched. You can see that I had to notch the side and then it's 
I'll have to put the vent back in and notch that. This side, I physically actually had to break it. So I had to break right from that to there so I could bend it up and then I had to cut around it and then I had to fold it on back in. So it kind of looks pretty dumb, but I mean, that's the best I'm gonna get it. Live and learn. I've been starting to put some of the interior stuff back in like the airbag cover and guess who's back, 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 back again. Merc is back. America. Tell a friend. Guess who's back, guess who's back, guess who's back. Toby? Yeah, that was so aggressive of you. Cool. <laughs> get unbolt that at first. I don't know that has to be up there, doesn't it? Where the fuck do these even go in? Not a cheap dash to break. One of those things that's gonna bother you for the rest of your life? I'm gonna think about it, yeah. All the time. Yeah. No one will be able to see it, but I'll know it's broken. Yeah. But it looks like an interior again. It does, it looks awesome. I wonder how that uh, shifter is. Shove it down there. Probably gonna have to cut a different hole for it. Unless this has come out underneath. It sits inside the tunnel. So doesn't the trans sit there? I mean, if it fits here with the trans there, that'd be perfect. Yeah, it just bolts up that way. That'd be uh, excellent, look at that. I'm Kyle, this is my race car. Uh, I we caught it. The when you make a post on Twitter and uh, you can go to war. Twitter figures turn to trigger fingers. <laughs> So we finally got all the interior in, team effort. Um, some of it has to come back out to put stuff in like gauges and wires and stuff and trans shifters. But I just wanted to get it all back in for morale purposes because I was getting really pissed off with the car and it just focused on you and not me. It switched focus to you. Yeah, because I'm fucking awesome. Fucking kids. Um, I did hit 10,000 subscribers. The scribers, I got 10,000 now, and I'll make a video about that later. But for now, I'm glad that all the cage stuff is back in, and it looks like super good, and I really like it. I did have to hack up the dash a little bit, but overall, it doesn't look too bad. Minimal cutting. Yeah, minimal cutting. Yeah. And I'm not too concerned about it anyways, because I like to, to party. Now we can get on to this, like, the fun stuff, like rebuilding the engine, and and actually assembling the car and and getting new parts and and stuff so pete's easy peace easy and i'll see you guys next time